Greetings, and welcome to our channel where we explore the wonders and perils of the natural world. Today we embark on a thrilling, albeit slightly unnerving journey, as we delve into the realms of some of the most dangerous creatures on Earth. From the depths of the ocean to the heart of the jungle, we'll encounter creatures whose deadly adaptations have earned them fearsome reputations. These animals are not to be trifled with, their survival instincts honed over millennia to make them formidable forces of nature. So, brace yourselves as we count down the top 10 most dangerous animals in the world, unveiling the secrets behind their deadly arsenals and the habitats where they reign supreme. Our journey into the realm of the dangerous begins in the sun-dappled waters of the Indo-Pacific, home to the ethereal yet deadly box jellyfish. This seemingly delicate creature, almost translucent in its beauty, possesses a weapon of astonishing potency, its venom. Unlike the trailing tentacles of many jellyfish, the box jellyfish boasts a cube-shaped bell, from which sprout up to 60 tentacles, each armed with millions of stinging cells called conidocytes. These microscopic harpoons fire with lightning speed, injecting venom upon contact. The venom of the box jellyfish is a complex cocktail of toxins that target the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. It's considered one of the most potent venoms on Earth, capable of inducing excruciating pain, paralysis, cardiac arrest, and even death within minutes. Encounters with this silent assassin are, thankfully, relatively rare, but the sheer speed and potency of its venom make it a creature to be wary of. The box jellyfish's ethereal beauty masks a deadly secret, a reminder that even in the tranquility of the ocean, danger can lurk unseen. From the dense undergrowth of Southeast Asia, home to the King Cobra, the longest venomous snake in the world. This majestic serpent can reach up to 18 feet. Its venom is a neurotoxin, causing paralysis. A single bite can kill an elephant or 20 humans. It's an intelligent hunter with exceptional eyesight. They guard their nests until the eggs hatch. Generally shy, they avoid confrontation. When threatened, they rise up and hiss loudly. The King Cobra, a symbol of power and danger. Our journey now takes us to the murky waters of Southeast Asia and Australia, where the saltwater crocodile, the largest living reptile, reigns supreme. This prehistoric predator with its armored hide and bone-crushing bite is a true apex predator, feared and respected by all who encounter it. Saltwater crocodiles are opportunistic hunters, lying in wait beneath the surface, their eyes barely visible above the waterline. They are masters of ambush, exploding from the water with astonishing speed and power, their jaws clamping down with a force of over 3,700 pounds per square inch, the strongest bite force ever recorded. These formidable creatures are equally at home in freshwater rivers and swamps as they are in the open ocean, making them highly adaptable and successful predators. They have a varied diet, feeding on fish, birds, mammals, and even other crocodiles. Saltwater crocodiles are not to be underestimated. Their size, strength, and predatory instincts make them a force to be reckoned with. Chapter 4. Giants with a Temper, African Elephants. We leave the water's edge and venture into the heart of Africa, where we encounter the African elephant, the largest land mammal on Earth. These gentle giants, often seen peacefully grazing on the savanna, possess a hidden power that can be unleashed in an instant. While primarily herbivorous, African elephants are known for their unpredictable temperament, especially when threatened or protecting their young. Their sheer size and strength make them formidable opponents, capable of inflicting massive damage with their tusks or trampling anything in their path. Despite their size, elephants are surprisingly agile and fast, capable of running up to 25 miles per hour in short bursts. They are also incredibly intelligent animals, with complex social structures and remarkable memories. The African elephant, a symbol of both power and grace, reminds us that even the most gentle giants can be dangerous when provoked. Chapter 5. Black Death, the Cape Buffalo. Our journey through the African savanna continues as we encounter the Cape Buffalo, a creature whose unpredictable nature has earned it the ominous nickname, Black Death. These massive bovids with their sharp horns and aggressive temperament are a force to be reckoned with. Cape Buffalo are notoriously ill-tempered and known to charge without warning, their massive heads lowered and horns aimed at their target. They are incredibly strong and resilient animals, capable of withstanding multiple gunshot wounds and even surviving lion attacks. Unlike many other prey animals, 
Cape buffalo are not afraid to stand their ground against predators, often forming a protective circle around their young or injured herd members. Their unpredictable nature and willingness to fight make them one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. The Cape buffalo, a symbol of untamed wilderness, reminds us that even in the vastness of the savanna, danger can lurk around every corner. Chapter 6. Jewel of Death. The Poison Dart Frog. We journey to the vibrant rainforests of Central and South America, encountering the deadly poison dart frog. These small, brightly colored amphibians are a sight to behold, their skin a dazzling array of colors. However, these vibrant hues are a warning, for the skin of the poison dart frog is coated in a deadly toxin. The poison, secreted by glands in the frog's skin, is a neurotoxin causing paralysis and even death. The golden poison frog is the most toxic with enough venom to kill 10 adult humans. Indigenous tribes use the poison to tip their blowgun darts, making for a swift and silent kill. The poison dart frog, a jewel of the rainforest, reminds us that beauty can be deceiving. Chapter 7. Our journey takes us back to the ocean, this time to the warmer waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans where we encounter a creature whose defense mechanism is as unique as it is deadly, the pufferfish. These slow-moving fish with their comical expressions and ability to inflate themselves into a ball several times their normal size might seem harmless, but looks can be deceiving. Concealed within the pufferfish's organs is a deadly secret, tetrodotoxin. Tetrodotoxin is a potent neurotoxin 1200 times more toxic than cyanide that disrupts the nervous system causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and ultimately death. There is no known antidote for tetrodotoxin poisoning, making it a highly dangerous substance. Despite the risks, pufferfish or fugu as they are known in Japan, are considered a delicacy in some cultures. Highly trained chefs, licensed to prepare fugu, meticulously remove the toxic organs, leaving only the edible flesh. The pufferfish, a culinary curiosity and a reminder that danger can lurk in the most unexpected places. Chapter 8. Nightmare on Eight Legs, the Brazilian Wandering Spider. In the heart of South America, we encounter the aggressive and venomous Brazilian wandering spider. This large, hairy spider actively hunts its prey, wandering the forest floor at night. Its venom attacks the nervous system, causing intense pain and muscle paralysis. Though not inherently aggressive, it will bite if threatened. Its wandering nature often brings it into contact with humans. Chapter 9. Silent Assassin. The Cone Snail. Our journey takes us back to the ocean, to the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific, where we encounter a creature whose beauty masks a deadly secret. The Cone Snail. These slow-moving snails with their intricately patterned shells might seem harmless, but concealed within their bodies is a harpoon-like tooth, capable of delivering a potent venom. The Cone Snail's venom is a complex cocktail of toxins, known as conotoxins, that target the nervous system causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and in some cases, death. The venom is fast acting and there is no known anti-venom, making it a highly dangerous substance. Cone snails use their venom to hunt prey, firing their harpoon-like tooth with lightning speed, injecting the venom into their victims. The venom quickly paralyzes the prey, allowing the snail to engulf and consume it. The Cone Snail, a master of venomous warfare, reminds us that even in the most beautiful of environments, danger can be lurking. Chapter 10. Tiny Terror, the Mosquito. Our journey through the world's most dangerous animals culminates with a creature so small, it's often overlooked until it's too late. The Mosquito. These tiny insects, with their high-pitched whine and insatiable thirst for blood, are more than just a nuisance. They are the deadliest animals on earth. Mosquitoes are vectors for a wide range of deadly diseases, including malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, yellow fever, and West Nile virus. These diseases infect millions of people worldwide each year, causing widespread suffering and death. What makes mosquitoes so dangerous is their ability to transmit these diseases from one host to another. When a mosquito feeds on an infected individual, it picks up the disease-causing pathogens along with the blood meal. These pathogens then multiply within the mosquito, and when the mosquito feeds again, it injects the pathogens into its new host. The mosquito, a tiny terror reminds us that even the smallest creatures can pose the greatest threats. 
As we conclude our exploration of the world's most dangerous animals, we're reminded that nature is a delicate balance of beauty and danger. These creatures, while fearsome in their own right, play vital roles in their respective ecosystems. It's our responsibility to approach them with respect, understanding, and a healthy dose of caution. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling adventure. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the wild side, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll plunge into the abyss to explore the most mysterious creatures of the deep sea. Until then, keep exploring.